Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa if you guys are new here and in today's video as you guys can tell from the title I'm here with a holiday Majuri video. So in today's video, this is how it's gonna work The first part of the video is I'm going to show you my holiday haul from Majuri and then in the second part of the video I'm gonna go through some of my recommendations for gifts and I've categorized them by price I've also just followed along with Jury's kind of like price breakdown on their website just to make it easier for you. So the price breakdown is under $150, then between $150 to $300, then between $300 to $500, and then $500 and beyond, just so it makes it easy for you guys to shop. And I've selected some of my favorites and my recommendations of the gifts within each category. So if you guys are new here, I have a huge bit of jewelry collection. I do a couple of videos every single year. I update my jewelry collection consistently on YouTube. So if you haven't already checked it out, I have a huge list of Majuri collection updated videos that you guys can check out. I have my most recent Black Friday recommendations video and I also review Majuri products every single month. So make sure you check it out. I just want to thank Majuri for sponsoring today's video. Before I go into the video, I just want to remind you guys that I do have 10% off with Majuri. So if you guys click on the links, you guys will automatically get your 10% off, which will be automatically applied upon checkout. If you want to check out my entire collection with Majuri as well, you can check it out at lisawaycom slash Majuri. And now without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so starting with my Majuri holiday haul. Oh my God, I feel like that is kind of a little tongue twister. Also, I want to apologize for my voice. If you guys are new here and have never seen me before in your life, or maybe you have and you just don't know this about me, I actually recently found out I have vocal nodules. So yes, it's the same thing as what the girl had in Pitch Perfect, Britney Snow. So that being said, a lot of the times I actually lose my voice. I need to go see a speech therapist actually. Anyway, so if my voice sounds a little bit weird, just giving you a heads up. Okay, so starting with the Majuri haul, I wanted to share with you guys the theme. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you'll know that this year's theme, this year's trend, this year's fashion just takeover has been sparkle, sparkles, 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 are everywhere right now. We have all been the gold jewelry girlies together, but the silver and the white gold and the diamonds, everything is making a comeback. So I feel like this entire year, we've been seeing so much more silver, so much more white gold, and so much more sparkles. So in order to match all the silverness that is going on, all the sparkles, that kind of is being reflected in my jewelry as well. You guys are probably really familiar if you guys have seen my videos before and seeing me with 14K solid gold with Majuri all the time. I always, always, always get their yellow gold products, but this entire haul this time has been all white gold and I'm so excited to share with you. Some products are actually repeat products that I already have in the solid gold version, but now I have it in white gold because I want it to match all the theme of the sparkles as you guys can even tell from my top. I think that for the holiday, we're gonna see a lot more sparkles again if you haven't already. And this is going to also transition into new year as well. We're gonna see even more. It is also time to reflect your jewelry with your clothes. So my my products that I've gotten, um, starting with the first two, I'm gonna share with you the rings that I got. I'm gonna just remove this one so you guys can see it properly. The first one is the croissant ring in white gold. So this is what it looks like. This one is thinner than the gold vermeil one because this is still solid gold, but it's just in white gold. So I don't have to take it off. I can wear this to the shower, to swim, to the ocean, etc., and never take it off if I wish. And then the second one is actually a very new ring that they came out with. It also does come in yellow gold as well, but this is the Pave diamond ring. The other one, this is the one I just took off. This is their OG ring, which you guys may have already seen. This is probably one of my most complimented items I have gotten, but they came out with this one, which is kind of just like a very thick band all over, whereas this one is like the signet ring of that but this one is like a thick diamond ring. This reminds me so much of the hoop earrings, the bold hoop earrings, but in a ring form. The Pave diamond also is 
only on top and not all the way around. I mean, don't mark my word, but I just feel like Majuri is gonna come out with one where it's gonna go all the way around or something, just like how they did with the baguette diamond ring because it was always at the top before and now it's like all the way around. So I have an inkling that they're gonna do that, but I don't know, we'll see. Only Majuri can tell us what's really gonna go on. So these are the two rings that I got this haul. And then the next three products I got were all earrings and all in white gold. So the first two earrings I'm gonna share with you, I already have it in the solid yellow gold version and now I got it in the white gold. I think it looks so, so, so good. For those of you who are wondering, yes, there actually is still a huge difference. So this is the yellow gold version of the bold hoops that I got. I got this in the medium bold hoops and also just the huggy bold hoops. And you can see this is all in white gold. So it looks like silver, but this is all material that I don't need to take off. I can wear in the shower if I wish. The stud is a new diamond stud that I got. This one is different than the one I have because the large diamond earrings look like this. It's a very huge chunk and it sticks out a lot. This one is being like encapsulated by the metal itself. So I actually really, really love the look of this. I initially wanted it in yellow gold and I'm very glad I didn't get the yellow gold and got it in the white gold because I think it would have been too similar to the large diamond earrings. So I'm very glad I didn't get that. But this is essentially what the three looks like together. I just think that this whole look together, especially with all of my sparkly outfits, it just looks extremely good. I would say that my one and only regret, honestly, in this haul is not getting a necklace because I realized that my necklaces are still in yellow gold. So I definitely need to invest in a white gold piece of necklace because necklaces are typically the one thing that I actually never take off because it's the the one thing that bothers me the least when I'm sleeping. Not that any of it really bothers me. If you guys once again have been following my videos for a while now, you guys will know that I am quite psycho when it comes to jewelry and I will sleep with all of it on and I will shower with all of it on. I really don't mind. So yeah, if I wanted to continue that trend, I will definitely need to invest in a white gold necklace for sure. That was pretty much my holiday haul. There are a lot of other holiday pieces that I think would just really go the sparkle theme. A lot of it I am wearing today. So obviously this one, the diamond Charlotte ring. I'm not sure if I'm getting the exact names right, but this one is such a must. This is such a statement piece. Everyone absolutely loves this ring. I think it's great for the holiday because it's also like super sparkly. The next one is obviously the OG Pave diamond ring, which is the signet ring. This one is also amazing. I wanted to put it both together so you guys can see what this looks like in case you guys are debating between the two rings. This is what it looks like. Obviously, the only other difference is one is in white gold and one is in solid gold. And then, of course, this stack that I have here is the ultimate holiday stack. This is the thin dome ring in the diamond. This is the diamond open ring. And finally, this is the baguette diamond ring, the one that goes all the way around. These are some of my favorite holiday sparkly pieces. They are definitely a huge investment, but take it from me, I have been wearing these pieces the ones that I've had for over a year, I do wear them practically every day and I don't even take them off, especially this stack, the one on my fourth finger. I never take it off unless if I'm doing like a weight training class or something athletic that requires me to take it off, but otherwise I really don't. So I do think it's worth the investment. Moving on to the gift recommendations. The first thing I wanna say about the gift recommendations and why I categorize it by price along with just kind of like following Majuri's guideline. It's because I honestly think that when you shop for gifts, the thing is you always wanna shop based on your own budget first. And then from there kind of like curate a list that is helpful for you. So this is exactly why I wanted to also follow the budget. The second thing is that within each category, I will mention if I personally think obviously these gifts are great for anyone, from anyone, but I do want to make my own personal recommendations and thoughts about who I think this would be best from, just because I think, you know, there are some gifts that I think are more sentimental from like a romantic partner and some has like more platonic vibes or like whatever it is. So I will definitely mention that as well. But anyway, let's get started with the first category, which is under $150. Starting with the first product, this product actually didn't make a majority's list of under $150 products. I don't think I didn't see it. Everything else is on the list though, but this one is probably my ultimate favorite 
product. It is a product that I actually got last month and it is this ring right here. It is this charm ring and it just dangles and it is so cute. It is under a hundred dollars. It's gold remain so you do have to take it off. You can't shower with it but it is so cute. I think this is perfect for either it's from a friend or even a romantic partner. It is such a like statement ring but it has it's fun and you would be surprised like you think that just because it dangles it seems like it would fall off easily but as someone who is very not careful with her hands and just kind of like I don't know I just feel like I'm always like running into things I'm very clumsy somehow this ring has stayed on really well so I think that's a really really great product from like a romantic partner or even a platonic partner next item is this ring right here. This is another gold vermeil ring. This is a duo beaded stacker ring. The reason why I'm making this as a recommendation is because not only is it quite affordable under $150, I have the solid gold versions of this ring, but I had to buy two because it comes individually. So I feel like this one is a really great way to kind of like save your money, especially if you're someone who already takes off the, your rings at the end of the day. There's not really too much of a reason for you to buy solid gold. You can still take this off at the end of the night and um, this one looks really really cute you can put it on your thumb you can put it on your hand etc i think it would be cute from a romantic partner as well but i think that from a friend is like probably even better but yeah i think this ring is so cute and yeah it's just so great for the price the next few items i wanted to recommend are earrings and i feel like personally i would like get this for someone if you're like more like a parent or once again a friend these earrings that they have we have the large hoops and the in-between hoops so these ones are pretty much your most classic solid gold hoops if they have multiple piercings as well i think it's a great starter collection you can put the large ones here the between ones there and then the small ones at the top and kind of have this like ring thing going it is also very simple and classic there isn't you know like diamonds on there there isn't other metals there aren't other charms etc it's just very very classic which is why i feel like it is great from like parents or friends etc and it's one of the only things that you can buy that are solid gold that is under 150 dollars so if you know some Someone who have very sensitive ears and have to wear real gold then this would be the perfect gift for them an alternative is these large earrings this one is sterling silver this is for the more statement person I would say I absolutely love this especially when you mix it with like other statement blocks I think it is such a great just like eye-catching piece. So this would be for someone with ears that aren't too sensitive if they are okay with not wearing just like solid gold earrings, like it doesn't harm their ear. And also someone who is very statementy. This one also comes in gold vermeil or sterling silver, so that is up to you. And I think it would be really great from a friend or even parents as well. Okay, the next section, we are moving on to $150 to the $300 range. The first product I want to recommend is this necklace right here. There are a couple colors on their website and there's also the gold vermeil version and also the solid gold version the one that is fitting this budget is the gold vermeil option this is the one that i personally have and i am absolutely obsessed with this is a heart necklace this one is the one in white and i'm just like absolutely in love with this color i think it has been going with a lot of different outfits i think this is best coming from like a romantic partner i think it's it would be such a cute gift honestly this once again comes in a lot of different colors and there's a solid gold version in both yellow and white gold but the solid gold versions are like $900 um so very much not within this budget but if you want to stick within the $150 to $300 budget you can definitely get the gold for me version the next piece that I want to recommend is the diamond solo ring this one is a piece that me and like at least four of my girlfriends all have and everyone is obsessed with this ring nobody has ever complained to me about this ring initially i was gonna say it would be so cute for my romantic partner but then i realized it's a diamond ring so i'm like okay so maybe not unless if you guys are ready for that step or whatever but i think that you know even from like parents or like a friend this would be so cute is such a great 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 piece the next product I want to recommend is the stacker ring this one is also around $300 this one is a very simplistic ring it is just a band and it's all the way around the reason why I'm recommending it is because it is such an amazing stacker piece it will go with any other ring you're ever gonna find once again really great if it's from like a friend even a romantic partner parents etc like 
family. I think that that ring is such a staple in, I don't know, my ring collection and great for someone who you know is like wanting to start like a ring collection and wanting to start stacking. It is such a great like beginner piece. The next product that I want to recommend is this Gold Vermeil product and this one has your initials on it. This one is a longer pendant, so it will hang like a little bit lower here. For me personally, whenever I think about gifts, I feel like when you customize it and add, you know, engraving or, you know, you have the monogram part of the gift, I always find that it makes it more personal and more like gift worthy, which is why I think it's a is a great gift. I think this would be really nice from all categories, honestly. So if you are a romantic partner as well in this category, maybe go with this um, if you are not comfortable with going with the rings. But this necklace is such a statement piece and I can see them wearing it all the time. The next product that I wanna recommend is one of my holy grail bracelets ever. This one is the Boyfriend Bold Chain Bracelet. This is in solid gold. It is probably a bracelet that I just will never, ever, ever take off. It is a chain that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Anyone can gift this product, but I think it would be best from a friend, to be honest. I think that would be like the most lovely. If it's from a friend, I think this chain is really, really cute. And I think that you can also, especially if you know that they already have the necklace version or the anklet version, this would be such a great addition to their collection. The the next product I want to recommend, once again, back to the whole engraving idea, is the diamond initial pendant. It's just the front piece right here, although the back piece would make a great piece as well. But the front piece is the diamond initial pendant, and I think this one would make a really, really great gift. I have a lot of my own guy friends get this for their girlfriends. Some have which broken up, but anyway, that is not the point of the story. But I know every this has always been. I know this has always been a crap. Okay, that's just rude. This has always been a crowd pleaser. The only thing is that the pendant itself fits this budget. However, if you wanna add the chain, it is gonna take you out of this budget. So I feel like either you get it with the necklace, I think that would make the most sense. But if you also already know that they have a lot of Majuri necklaces, then genuinely from a practical perspective, I don't think you need to get the chain because as you can see, the way I'm even wearing it as well, like I've layered it with an existing Majuri chain and also take this pendant off and just wear the initial necklace on its own like this as well. Or you can layer it with another necklace. I think it's just gonna be personally up to you if you find it awkward just getting the pendant. Like sometimes I think it could be awkward, but if you know them really well and you know that they already have, you know, the chain, then you can just get the pendant and that would put this within the budget. The last product I wanna recommend in this category is another ring. It is the diamond open ring. It's this one right here. It has two little diamonds and it is, as you can see, open. This is one of the products I mentioned earlier where I said that I never take it off. It is in this stack on my right hand ring finger that is just always on. So I don't know, I absolutely love this ring. One thing I also like about this ring is because it is like this. So you can adjust it and kind of like bend it a little bit like open or close if you are someone who's getting this as a gift and you're worried that I think they're in between sizes. Like if you have a really good guess, I think they can like either like tighten it a lot more or stretch it out a little bit. The metal is very malleable. So if you are someone who is worried about sizing, I think especially this ring would be perfect. Okay, moving on to the next category, which is the 300 to 500 range. Off of Majuri's list, I only picked three items so the first one is the oversized thin hoops if you guys watch my latest Majuri videos you will know that this is probably my favorite favorite hoops from Majuri they are solid goals they're extremely dainty yet statement at the same time they're very big but because they are thin or shall I say again since last time I said it it was fine um less girthy than some of the other hoop earrings so I feel like I love that they are statement but also dainty at the same time it's kind of like a confusing little piece that you still find charming you know kind of like myself I'm just kidding I think it's one of those really, really iconic Majuri pieces. So I think it would make such a great gift. I think it would honestly be great from 
anybody so definitely check that one out the next item within this category i want to recommend is the thin dome ring this has always been in my wish list so this is the thin dome ring and it is in solid gold this one is just also such a statement i feel like also if i wear it with the croissant ring it just looks so good together like so it is also extremely light i don't know if you can tell but it is a little bit hollow in the background so it is very very light very charming i think if you know the person that you're getting a gift for and they're just paranoid about scratches then maybe I would stay away from this ring personally I love when my items this is like a very controversial belief but I'm like I'm not someone who like super cares about like when there's like a scratch on anything like even if you watch my designer bag reviews like I have a very good idea of what type of person I am and I'm, I know I'm very clumsy. I know I use my products. I don't just like collect products, but I do know there are a lot of people that like to just collect and they're very paranoid about like any little like marking. So I think if you know your person really well, if that is them, like I would prob probably avoid this ring, not because there's like terrible scratches. Like if you look up close, like this is still with like my extreme wear. I'm just saying that it could be something that could bother someone. So I would stick more to like the diamond version of this, but this one is in a higher price point to be honest, just because, you know, like I said, it's all about knowing the person that you're gifting for. For me, if you're gifting me, you would know that, you know, I use my products and I'm quite, I don't know, I like to play around in the dirt sometimes like whatever like I know my products are gonna get scratched I know I'm gonna get a little bit of markings on my bags on my jewelry whatever but if you know that someone is more like a collectibles person then maybe um pick another gift instead of that ring the next item which could be the alternative here is the diamond line ring so this is what it looks like this one I have in white gold and this one is so dainty and there's just little diamonds along this section I just think that it is so cute it is very different from the Pave diamond that I showed you because this one has like layers and layers of diamonds Like I want to say like three lines on top of each other whereas the diamonds line ring only has one line It's very dainty also an amazing Stacker piece personally. I would recommend this if you know the thin dome ring didn't tickle you fancy I would probably go with this one this ring for me goes with everything everything and i really really liked that i got it in white gold so if you know the person that you're buying for doesn't really care between yellow versus white or they're also trying to collect more white gold i would definitely take a look at this one because this is the one product that i do not regret in my collection at all what i love about it is that i can mix it with white or yellow gold so that's why I really like it. Okay, moving on to the last category, and this is the above $500 mark. If you have reached this far into the video or if this is in your budget, then this is my time to shine because this is my favorite category in Majuri because I am in love with their entire like diamond collections. So I have so, so, so many recommendations. It was really hard to honestly pick a few. I specifically picked from their list also that they curated. So it's kind of like a double recommendations here, if you will, like my jury already cut it down. Then I'm cutting down what they've cut down. So I feel like this is like really the ultimate recommendation. The first product I want to recommend is this new bracelet that I got. This bracelet, holy crap, is so nice. Like I, just cannot this is a diamond lines bracelet it is very dainty but there's a bar of diamond right here i got this in yellow gold it is just so pretty on like if you are not someone who the diamond tennis bracelet interests you this one is like the next contender it is also much cheaper than the diamond tennis bracelet i think this would be great from a romantic partner personally but honestly you know at this price point who's picky about who's getting this for ya, you know? So just, anyway, if someone can get this for you, I think it is so, so nice, so beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite pieces that I recently got. The next item, I've mentioned it now three times, is the Thin Dome Ring with Pave Diamonds. This one right here. Is the price very upwardly? Yes, absolutely. But is it worth it? Also, yes, absolutely. And like I said, 
The non-diamond version, if you are afraid of scratches, then this one will not give you that problem because it is all diamonds and you can't see any single scratch. So it is probably one of my favorite pieces that just never come off of my finger. I know I say I have a lot of favorite pieces, but it's hard when they're all so pretty, okay? So anyway, this one is also one of my favorites as well. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Okay, so on a more like classic gift side, pieces that I think personally, where if you get this for them, I just do not foresee them taking it off. So if you're like a romantic partner and you're like, hey, I want you to wear what I got you forever and ever, like these are the pieces. The first one is the large diamond necklace. Okay, this is what it looks like. The design of the large diamond necklace actually reminds me of how the earrings that I got is made because it doesn't stick out. It's like encapsulated and I want to say, yes, get the large one, do not get the small one. I say this every single time I bring up this product. And recently, I actually got a DM from one of you going like, I regret not listening to you and getting the small one. And I'm just like, see, I told you. Because like, this one is just honestly the perfect size. I feel like the small one is a little bit too small. Is it a little bit pricier? Yes, but it is so worth the investment. So especially if you're like family and you're like getting it for your daughter, for like, her birthday slash, I don't know, holiday or like, or like graduation or something like that. This is gonna be so worth it. Like I highly, highly, I cannot recommend this more. Like this is just the one product that she will just never take off. In my last video, I was just like, if the world becomes just like robots or flying cars, like whatever it is, like you will still be wearing this diamond necklace. The next one, which is along the lines of that, is the large diamond studs. These ones are just so, so classic diamond studs. These are like the ones where like, you know your grandmother probably has this or your mom or like, this is something that can be passed down for so many generations. Same with the large diamond necklace. So I feel like if you are wanting to be that one person to gift someone a huge investment piece, I would say these two are your answers. Are they pricey? Yes but they're gonna last forever. They're gonna be on your grandchild, grand, 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 like, you know what I mean? Like however, however far you can say that. People who would be like registering on ancestry.com a hundred years from now will also be wearing this necklace. So that's what I'm trying to say. Last two products. This one I always recommend because I don't think people understand how obsessed I am with this bracelet. It is the diamond tennis bracelet. The only thing is I'm always hesitant to recommend it because obviously I do know it is pricey, but once again, it's like one of those really big splurge pieces where you will just not regret it. Like every single person that has laid eyes on this bracelet is just obsessed with it and so am I. So every single day I just kind of, you know, like you wake up a little bit sad, at least I have this really pretty bracelet. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know what else I can tell you, but it's just, it is very expensive, but it is very worth the hype, I wear it all the time. So that's another one. And then the last few are the ones that I was wearing from the beginning of the video. Obviously, I recently got the white gold version, but if you don't have any in your collection, I highly recommend, you know, getting it for yourself or getting it for someone that you love. The medium bold hoops and even the huggy bold hoops are just absolutely beautiful and such a statement as you guys can see even with my outfit today. And it comes in white and yellow gold. So anyway, that is pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys liked this video. Once again, I'm very sorry about my voice. And just a reminder, once again, you can get 10% off jewelry if this is your first purchase. And once again, make sure you check out my other videos if you haven't checked it out already. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and I will see you in the next video. Bye.